my music video presentation. Okay, so my song is by Marachi, he's a close friend of mine, and the song's called Main Girl. So here's the song. Okay, so that's my song. Okay, I asked permission. When I heard the song from YouTube, I had to make sure I got permission from the artist. So, because he's a close friend of mine, I got permission from him from Facebook. So, here's the evidence that I messaged him. Um, so, yeah. And when I got the evidence, I had to make sure I told him some of the rules, which was to that everything has to be my idea, he can't have any in corporation. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Stars and audience. So, my whole idea is to base it on the younger generation. So, because he's a young artist, I feel like the storyline and everything should be based for the younger generation. So, the main location will be the park, which is where most people hang around like our age and the bedroom i'll show his bedroom so his girlfriend that's going to be her room so you can see the emotion stuff go into more detail on that later on so the reason i'm aiming, aiming it at younger the younger people is because the storyline the storyline is something that us the younger generation can like relate to Okay, so my artist is a close friend of mine. His real name is Marco Lewis, but he goes by the name Amarachi. And he uses this name as his alter ego for singing, so it's like his other side of him, like you have such a fierce. Um, so he's brought up in East London, and but he's originated from Portugal. His main um, music genres is grime, rap and pop. But he says that he's willing to open up his music and change it up a bit. So, yeah, he's with E&R Recordings, which are not an actual signed label. It's someone, it's like an organisation around my area, which helps young people who have talent, like, just helps them get shows and little gigs to do, which is like for singers, dance, actors, anything. So, he's an unsigned artist at the moment. Okay, so my artist is identity. I want to keep it simple because I want him to kind of... I want boys to relate to him. So you know how you see boys with cheetos, snapbacks, it's that cool sort of look. Um, so yeah, that's my representation as well. Introduction. Why have I chosen this song? Okay, so $99 said that they wanted us to work closer to the artist. And because I know the artist, it makes it more easy for me to have him in my music video and we work closely. Also, I think it's the reason I've chosen this song as well is because I know the artist, so he can do the lip syncing, which is a bonus because then I have to get someone to learn the lyrics and cut because it don't make sense if I try and get someone to be him in the music video, so it makes more sense. And also, I picked it because it's got a clean beat, so when it comes to editing and stuff, it makes more it makes it more easy for me to edit to the beat, which it makes it more effective and engaging to people to watch. What are my ideas? Okay, my main idea is make it narrative. The whole thing is going to be something that the audience can understand and it's kind of emotional, so yeah. Um, throughout the music video, there's going to be interpretation parts, but I'm not going to overdo it like Friday by Rebecca Black. I'm going to make it just so it can emphasise on the lyrics and how he feels towards her and the whole of the song. Okay. Where are they 
have rarely been recorded. Okay, I said it earlier, the park. I've chosen the park because it's where we us young people hang around. The bedroom. The bedroom is mainly because if you see that the girl and the boy, which is the relationship, together in the room, you can see them having fun, arguing and stuff, because that's where your you and your boyfriend obviously go. And there's parts where I want you to see that she's upset and that's the main place where you're just on your bed. You know when you're upset and you're just on your bed, you don't normally you just cry. I want to create that sort of thing. And also, if it's possible, I um, want to use the restroom, which is where you'll see him cheating on his girlfriend with other girls and you understand what I'm talking about in a minute. Okay, my idea. Main idea is for it to be narrative. Uh, so I've used, I've got influences from Trey songs, Your Side of the Bed. Throughout the video, like at the beginning, there's a scene where they're talking to each other, but it's like they're talking, it's, you can't hear the music, it's just them acting out. And it's like a scene set before the song, which makes it more engaging. And so throughout the song, he says that he misses her and it's your side of the bed. Um, so, and you don't understand why he said it's your side of the bed until the end of the song. So I'm going to let you watch it. So this is just a little clip. So I want to base my music video around this. So you've got the little scene before the song comes in, them talking like a normal couple. It was about seven, eight months. Exactly that. I'm surprised you know. He trained you on how to do my daughter's hair. That's what needs to happen. But well, when you get older, you know how to do it all. And until then? You got it. Okay, so you see where I'm going with my idea? It's going to be based on a relationship and that's it. There's going to be some kind of, um, not performance, but he's going to be lip syncing, but when he's singing, he's going to be singing towards her, but not so much performance, just little parts of the song. Okay, so my storyline. My storyline is going to be about a boy cheating on his girlfriend. So if you heard the song yet, it says, you're my main girl. So the artist is going to be the guy, and I'm going to get a friend to play his girlfriend. Throughout the video, you're going to see them like having a nice day-to-day -day relationship but before anything happens I want there to be them two, just them two in the park arguing. I don't want you to hear any of the argument just to visually see it from a long shot and then what you're going to see is them arguing, her fighting, trying to hit him because she's so angry with him and crying. Then all of a sudden you're going to see this rewind which m makes it seem as if it never happened so throughout the music video, you're going to see the relationship and you're going to think, but what was the argument for you? Why was it there? And it will be revealed at the end of the story because you're going to see them two had the same argument at the beginning, but you're going to hear her say, I hate you, this is that, find him. And then you're not going to see the rewind, you're going to actually see her leave him. So it's going to be on that sort of lines. And I've got this idea, which is where you can see the rewind.
that's my idea. So you see where I'm going with it. So they had an argument and then it all gets rewrite. So it's like that never happened that moment. Okay, so that's my main idea is to make it narrative and have that storyline. But within it, there's like little things I want to do. So stop animation. If you've seen Bruno Mars' uh, music video, just the way you are, you can see him writing stuff during her. I want to use that same kind of technique. When he says, you're my main girl, I want to, I want to see him texting his girl saying, you're my main girl. But I want it to be stop animation, so it's a bit different than just him texting. So here's a little example. Oh. 